Alright, you stay there and be adorable. Allie's gonna film some stuff. Hey everybody, this is Allie Roots here, and we get asked all the time how we clean shoes. So this video is going to be me, and only me, no Ryan included, because he's holding the camera right now filming me. Hey! Hey, <laughs> that's Ryan back there. And I'm going to show you how we clean our shoes because we get asked all the time, time and time again, Instagram messages, YouTube, emails, how we clean shoes. So we figured it was about time we show you how we clean our shoes. First thing we're gonna talk about are leather shoes. The reason we're gonna talk about leather shoes first is because this is the most requested video for cleaning shoes. So you're going to need a couple of things. This is not going to be a video on how to make your own homemade products for cleaning shoes. This is going to be about products that we use and recommend that you can also use on shoes and that we can say, yeah, we've used them before and they work great. For cleaning shoes, you're going to need this product or a very similar product to this product. This is a safe product and I can actually guarantee that it's safe because I've used it on multiple things and it tells you everything that it's safe for cleaning. It's very effective and it's very affordable. We bought it on Amazon Prime. Second recommended product is going to be Edge Dressing. It comes in multiple colors. We have it in black and brown currently. If you need it in other colors, it might be available. I'm not sure if it's available in like navy, but we purchased it in black and brown because those are the most common colors that we need. What Edge Dressing is for, it is for this edge part of the shoe and the bottom. The next products you're going to need for your shoe cleaning arsenal, shoe wax slash polish. This is a wax and polish combo. I know that some people might prefer wax or polish, but this is a nice combo. We have it in black, brown, and neutral. This is for cleaning the top of the leather shoe. And then when your shoes are in dire need of conditioning because the leather is really dry or going to become cracked if you don't do something about it. You're going to need to condition your shoes before you wax or polish them. Conditioner is really, really important, especially for people who live in northern climates and you're finding shoes where somebody goes to work and there's like salt on the ground. Salt will really damage leather, so you need to keep your shoes conditioned and this will revitalize the leather, make it soft, make it supple, and prevent it from cracking. And then a neutral shoe cream. This also kind of works like conditioning oil. It's just a preference thing. If you don't necessarily need to condition the shoes and oil them, a shoe cream kind of like replenishes the moisture in them, but doesn't truly condition them. So it's maybe for shoes that have a little less damage on them. And lastly, the brushes. They're incredibly important. You definitely want to make sure you're getting a nice, good quality brush. It's going to last you a long time. So if you're going to splurge and spend $15 on a brush, bite the bullet. It's worth it. It's very important because after you wax the shoe or polish the shoe, you're going to buff it off. And it does make a huge difference for the overall appearance of the shoe in the final reward. Are they horse hair? <laughs> this is a horse hair brush. Everybody recommends you use a horse hair brush, so we have a horse hair brush. Gotcha. And it came in this box. You're a horse hair. <laughs> <laughs> These shoes are pretty much in excellent use condition. The only issue with them are these little scratches here and there. So we're gonna try to wax the scratches out. They definitely don't need to be conditioned because the leather is still soft, supple, and it, it doesn't really have any signs of cracking and wear because they've been barely worn. But we wanna get those scuffs out, so we're gonna try. So what are you gonna use to get the scuffs out? Wax, oh, you think? Wonder. Oh my gosh, they're hard to open. Oh, it doesn't have the metal thingy. Yeah. That's Why do too you dark. smell everything? I don't know. You're right, I just did it again. <laughs> you just, everything Allie opens, <laughs> she has to snow. So the brown's really dark. <laughs> I don't want to use the brown on these because it's going to really darken them. Okay. And I feel like the color of them is mm -hmm. fine where it is. So let's see, this is a neutral. It will darken them slightly. You can see I kind of like touched it right there. I did that. Mm. So we're gonna use that. And the best way to apply it is with a cloth. You don't wanna use paper towel because it will leave like a bunch of paper towel residue. But what I have, what I have is this sock. Sock? Yeah. Love it. It's a straggler, it has no mate. Awesome. I don't know where it went. I feel like the washing machine eats socks sometimes. For but. sure. Okay, let's try this. So you're gonna wipe it in. Get a nice amount on there. Our scuffs are here. I'm gonna rub it in. Whoa. Oh, it's like really making it dark. But. Whoa. 
Huh. I think it lightens whenever you, uh, when it dries. So you're just kind of like buffing it in? Yeah. So right now it's pretty dark. You think that'll lighten up as it dries? Yeah, as it yeah. dries, it really should lighten up. Um, but we'll, we'll just try to make sure we remember which areas of the shoe we've already hit with it so we don't go back and hit them a second time. But it definitely removed the scuffs. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, it's really dark right now, but you can see that the scuffs are going away. They're almost yeah. gone. So we're going to do the whole shoe and then we're going to horsehair brush it off. Nice. They're looking pretty good. Don't forget to buff your shoes. <laughs> I feel like one of those people in the airport. Yeah. <laughs> Ellie's a shoe shiner. The hottest shoe shiner I've ever seen. Dang. You don't know. I do. Now we're just going to let these dry and see how light they become. Nice. They look pretty good. You got yeah. like a lot of the scuffs and creases out. So. Yeah. I did the whole shoe so that the leather was a uniform color whenever it does dry. Nice. Next up are these ballet shoes. The other shoes we did, they weren't very dirty, but on these ballet shoes, they have a couple of like spots and whatnot here and there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean them first. And then after you clean shoes, you must condition them or leather in general because it dries it out and you want to replenish the moisture that you just removed from cleaning it. And then after you condition the leather, then you can wax and polish the shoe. I'm just going to use a paper towel so I can see if any of the color transfers. I'm just going to wipe it uh, near the bottom here. No, it's fine. Okay. What is that stuff? Like soap? It's a cleaner that is safe for leather, vinyls, rubber, all kinds of stuff, actually. All right. We cleaned them. Now we need to condition them. Back to the sock. Back to the sock. <laughs> Do you have like a technique for how you rub it on the shoe? Looks like- Small circular oh, you like, motions now. Like a dentist says? <laughs> I don't know if there's a good technique, but as long as you get it on there and rub it in, I think that's the most important part is making sure you're like really actually rubbing it in. You're not just wiping it on top True. of the surface because you do want it to you know, kind of soak in there a little bit. Because conditioner, you're actually getting it into the leather, whereas the polish, you're, it's more sitting on top. Mochi's tired. Mama. Mochi. Oh, she rolled over. Oh, look at that oh. bow dog. Upside down bow dogs. Okay, so that one's conditioned. Nice. That one. And then I'm going to buff that off. With the horsehair brush? With the horsehair brush. Shout out Fila for their socks. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, look how buff Allie is. <laughs> Get it? Because you're buffing shoes. <laughs> Funny. I don't want to mix the neutral and conditioning oil rag with the black polish, so I'm going to do a separate rag just in case. So what is that? The black... Shoe wax? polish wax. She polish wax. Oh, the moment of truth. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna do the whole shoe. Oh, wow. It's like really smoothing it out. Nice. And these Cole Hans have now started to dry out nicely. So they're looking really good. Buff those shoes. Buff those shoes. Buff those shoes. Girl. <laughs> do you remember? Trying to be me. Yeah, <laughs> do you remember? When I was what singing you, to you. You were singing about get that like, money. get that money. Get that money, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I think they look pretty fantastic. Yeah? Yeah. Done? Yeah. Look good. Very Word. cool. Good job, babe. Way to be a shoe cleaner. Shoe cleaner. On to the next ones? Yeah. They don't really need it, but this is what Ryan has at the house. Oh, no. <laughs> I just made a mess. Ah, uh, the cable's dirty. These are my shoes. Yeah. So These are Ryan's shoes. Don't mess them up. <laughs> so... The edge dressing. Edge dressing? Like salad Where dressing? Where it's for, it's for right here. Oh. Make sure you don't get it on the shoe because it will darken the leather. Oh, whoa. It's like tire shine for your car. Yep. Whoa. That's crazy. The worst part of the shoe is always like the right at the toe. So. Right. Cool. Dang. You That's can clean cool. it before you do it too. It weren't really that bad. Yeah, I mean, I can I can see it there. Yeah, you can tell before and after. And then with a paper towel, you can just wipe off the excess. Nice. That's a pretty cool thing because that's one thing that I do notice on a lot of guys' dress shoes is that part like does get messed up from kicking the ground and 
hitting your shoe on stuff, you know? Yeah, and then sometimes with the, your shoes, what I've done is I've gone back and made a second swipe at just the front area. Mm. Gives it like extra protection. See, you can see the edge dressing from the factory where they got it on the shoe. Oh. And then you can come under here and just the front part do it. Hmm. Well, aren't you fancy? And that's on Amazon too? Yep. Nice. Look at that Charizard in the background. Charizard? Yeah. Charmander. Charmander. Sorry. <laughs> so she's like these. We typically will just throw them in the washing machine in a mesh bag with towels. And I always take the insert part out. You can wash this in the sink if it's really gross and you want to. And then also, these are Nikes. I do that with um, Asics as well. I do it with my own personal Asics and they're totally fine. I've never had an issue washing them in the washing machine with towels in a mesh bag. But then, shoes like this, it's a little different because they have suede on the inside. So what I would do is I would wash them in the sink with a scrub brush and soap because they have some type of like weird, I don't even know what's on it, on there. And then with the bottoms of them, you can clean with a toothbrush and toothpaste if it's really bad. Otherwise you can just use a toothbrush and dish soap and it should remove that. Or you can buy a special cleaner for this rubber sole. So there you have it. That's how we clean shoes. In the description below, we're gonna put links to the products that we use. We purchased them on Amazon. They all came prime. Pretty easy, pretty convenient. Again, these are just the products we've used. There are comparable, very similar products that you can purchase instead, but we know that these ones work pretty well for us, so they should work pretty well for you. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and you find it useful and helpful, and if you didn't enjoy this video, just give it a thumbs up. And then of course, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, it really helps, and maybe you can refer it to a friend who is asking you how you clean your shoes. Thanks so much for watching, I'm Allie Roots, and there is no Ryan Roots, so have a good day, guys. <laughs> Bye.